As we always say, there can only be one winner. Well, sometimes we do say that there are winners, but not in our legendary blind camera tests. We are finally done with the votes and have found our winner out of 12 phones thanks to your help and your help only. The winner will be revealed at the end of the video, and I'm actually curious to see how many of you will have guessed it right. If you enjoy these types of videos and would like to participate in our contests, make sure to like and subscribe to keep in touch with our social media accounts. Let the vote speak. As it was the case in our previous blind camera comparisons, the competition will be single elimination. The winner of the round will go on to the next one, while the loser will be eliminated. Without further ado, let's get straight into our comparison so that we don't keep you waiting. Our first heads up is on your screen ladies and gentlemen. We actually had a blowout from the start as the vast majority of our community did not like how the second photo is very bright and has strong blue tones all over. The first photo is much more realistic and has natural tones along with shadows. The phone it belongs to is the Nothing Phone 2 which will very firmly overtake the Poco F5 Pro in the first round. Disappointing showing from Poco to be honest, they have pretty powerful phones for their price range but their cameras are just subpar. In the next round we have another blowout. I think it's actually a good thing that we're getting the subpar cameras out of the way so that if you guys are interested in a mid-range camera phone you can see the strong contestants battle it out in the end. I think it's fairly obvious which photo was a preference of our very diligent community here and that photo was taken by the OnePlus Nord 3. The phone that is eliminated is the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus. In the past Redmi phones got a lot of praise for being all rounders but it seems like they've fallen behind quite a bit with the mid-range phones of Samsung and Google taking over. Next up we have two really nice photos but one clear winner. This was the first photo that I disagreed with our community on because I actually like the one that has the more natural colors, especially my skin tone. Our community however preferred the photo with higher saturation giving it a more lively look. This photo belongs to the Honor 90 while the other one was taken by the Realme 11 Pro Plus as Honor will progress to the next round. Now we have a really tricky one, as in both photos look kind of nice to me. However, there were very small details that swayed the community in one direction over the other. It seems that in the end, the Samsung Galaxy A54 got the better of the Motorola Edge 40 in this heads up as people preferred the photo to be a bit more colorful and saturated once again. As for the next one, this could have been a disaster for one of the phones that is a favorite of the mobile phone photography scene. I don't know if you can tell which one is from the start, but you will understand what I mean when I give the explanation. Google's Pixel series takes pretty photos with a lot of detail, but they sometimes overprocess the photos so much that it becomes dark and uninspiring. Luckily for them though, you guys still preferred that more natural looking photo compared to what the Xiaomi 13 Lite put out. And lastly, we have one of my favorite photos as I love the jacket that I have on as the colors represent my favorite football team from Turkey. Fun fact, I bought it when we were shooting footage with our camera guy as the weather was really cold and I just had to walk into a store and buy something to wear for that day. Between these two, there were a lot of votes, but the Apple iPhone SE 2022 will be the one to overtake the Asus Zenfone 10, rounding out the first round. Now we will have the winners duke it out against each other starting with these two photos. Honestly, I think that this was the hardest heads up of the competition. These photos have their own style and I think both of them look pretty nice in their own way. That being said, the OnePlus Nord 3 actually took out the Nothing Phone 2 here once again due to the brighter colors and livelier scene. In our comparison of these two phones, I thought that the Nothing Phone 2 was more consistent overall, but for this photo, the decision of the community was in favor of OnePlus. As for the next photo in the second round, we have a similar environment with lots of green, but more close up. Once again, I must admit that I like both photos and would not mind picking either. Alas, there can only be one winner. In this case, it will be the Honor 90 moving upwards while the Samsung Galaxy A54 will be eliminated. Honor's photo looks much more vibrant and brings out the colors in the background more, which is most likely the reason why the result came out this way in the voting results. For the last comparison before the finals, we have a really big matchup between two of the kings of the scene. Maybe you know who I'm talking about, or maybe you don't. 
Well, these two photos are completely different, but the results were actually really close. Interestingly enough, when it comes down to Pixel phones, our community still prefers natural scenes, which is the opposite of what they usually go for when other phones are taken into consideration. The photo going to be in the final is the Pixel 7a, beating the iPhone SE in a close call, leaving us with three photos to choose from to find out who will take the crown. It has been a long road, with many votes given over a few weeks by our loyal community. Everyone was excited for this moment and we are proud to say that it has finally arrived. The three phones that have found themselves in the final are the OnePlus Nord 3, the Google Pixel 7a and the Honor 90. All three of them battled through tough roads, beating some of the finest mid-range phones out there. After careful consideration by all of you analyzing everything related to these photos, you decided with your votes that the winner would be... The Google Pixel 7a, arguably the best mid-range camera phone on the market thanks to Google's photo processing technology. Second place went to OnePlus, while third place was taken by Honor, as this marks the end of our mid-range blind camera test. Do you agree with the winners, and were there any rounds where you had different opinions? Make sure to tell us in the comments below, and also, like and subscribe if this was fun, and we will see you around.